Yeah, hi. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your late night Smackdown review. Um, it's Friday night there. Um, yeah, I don't love, I don't love it, Maggle. I don't, this show was boring, terrible, but I will say this, the ending was pretty cool. I will say that. I, I, I honestly, I love it. I, I do love the ending. That was pretty fucking cool. But it just goes with like, but fuck, that's like, you had to wait two hours. Luckily, I waited for like 45 minutes because actually I didn't watch the first hour. So, yeah. I, I tuned in during the fucking shit ass Rollins Cesaro match. So, uh, anyways, grab your Coca Cola. Let's drink it magnificently there. I can't drink it at the moment because I'm on some supplements. But hey, let's. Anyways, uh, drink it magnificently in honor of me there. Definitely you can get some chicks, you know, if I'm gonna be black cashman, you can just go, oh, shit, oh, shit, along with some beautiful Coca-Cola. It's definitely better. Chicks love the cola. So, yeah. Um, so, okay, I'm confused how fucking the show starts. Okay. So, Smackdown started with Jay Us or Jimmy Uso and Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman tells that Roman Reigns is heading to ring to handle something that he will get his full attention tonight. Um, I don't know if this is order. Um, well, I, I fuck it. I'm going by how this is listed. So, King Nakamura defeats Corbin to qualify for the men's money bank ladder match. Again, they're having a match. Again. Really? Pat McFree and Big E gets a foot bath during the match. I think this is just cornballish. This is cornballish, and people want Big E to win money in the bank. Um, no, come on, it's cornballish. And here's the thing let me talk about Pat McAfee. I didn't fucking talk about this last week, but the guy was sitting on Michael Cole's fucking face. Some people may think that's cool. But well, yeah, come on, that's gay. That's equivalent to that idea that why people say, or especially what the sports books are saying, why wrestling is literally gay porn now. Why is wrestling so homoerotic now? Can we actually have fucking badasses and cool shit going on? The only thing that should be fucking erotic is women doing, I don't know, doing something to each other. This is supposed to be a wrestling show. It's supposed to be fucking badasses. This is like fucking, what the fuck, you know what I mean? Alright, uh, I don't know if this is probably before this match, but hey, so Jimmy Uso is upset that Roman Reigns was on vacation last week after, um, well, being stepped on to Edge while he was gone. Roman Reigns comes out and says he was on vacation handling business. And then Jimmy, uh, not Jimmy, Jay Uso returned. And they say they need to be on the same page and no one will be able to touch them. They share a hug and agree that they'll be on the same side. Okay, uh, weren't they on the same side? Or I don't know. I don't know. Like, Jimmy Uso decides to turn bad for some reason. Shut up! Um. Yeah. I I don't. Yeah. Oh fuck. How about how about this entire show needs to shut down? Like it's fucking terrible. Um. I don't know. It makes no sense. It is what it is. Yeah, I don't hate it. It's just like whatever. You know what I mean? <sighs> then, okay, here's what really fucking. When I found out the results, like before I started it, like what the fuck am I hearing? Like really? So we're getting NXT call ups now. I don't know why. Especially when you're in the middle of a building up a show. Why you're calling up. Especially not just this. Let's be honest here. There's really no one worthy to call from NXT. And not just that, I, I don't even know. They don't fucking draw for shit. If that's the case, then why are people not watching NXT? And not just that, like, come on here. It's just, oh, yeah, yeah. You didn't even hype them up. Like, this is the problem with wrestling shows nowadays. And when you're debuting people, you're, like, literally not hyping them up for the main roster. You're just like, oh, it's them. They're from NXT. Hey! Can you stop with this NXT shit? Seriously. This wasn't the case back then when you were bringing up people to the main roster. You wonder why people don't know who the fuck they are besides Smarks. 
Obviously, fucking Smarks, they're gonna probably pretend to care about them next week, but for God's sakes, like, ugh. I don't know what to say anymore. I don't care. So, Tegan Knox and Shit's Blackheart, yeah, uh, now in, they're on a main roster, and they face the tag champs. Uh, yeah, so apparently they cut, the, they got their name cut, cut to half. Like, who cares? You know what I mean? I don't give a f- uh, So basically, yeah, fucking, you could just call Blackheart shits. Because get it, she took shits and fucking sells it to people. I don't know why you fucking weirdos like this person. Especially she's just not attractive at all. And not, and yeah, Tegan Knox just knocks or whatever. I don't give a fuck. Who the fuck cares? They defeated. Oh god, I, I can't see. I and I, why is every fucking women with like hair colors now? They defeated. The ta- they defeated the She Hulks, who are the tag champions. Well, how how like how does this make sense? How does this make your champions? I mean, I don't care because I don't give a shit about Natty Nightfart and and Jimmy Snuka from the Dead. But for guys, it's like who cares. Sonya Dykeville says there will be no SmackDown Women's title match at Money in the Bank because uh, actually he's reported earlier Bailey is injured. Good riddance. Okay, I don't want to try to be heartless. Listen, I'm not happy that a person gets injured. I don't wish death on anyone or re- like, but you know, I, just just as a joke or whatever. Or, or, you know, like I would I would be okay if they're just gone. Just go. You're like you're not entertaining. But I'm not like to be like a heartless motherfucker that oh, you know. Fuck, like, yeah, she should kill herself? Nah. But for God's sakes, like, seriously, it's kind of going to be good that she's going to be gone, so. Just the reality, but I do feel bad for her. She got injured by training. And just goes to show, like, what What are you training? Like, what are you doing? Why are you fucking getting... And, and, and this is, like, I remember, I see the Brad Rules talking on Facebook or something. It was, like, on Facebook under Wrestling God's Facebook group with Wrestling Jesus. Basically, uh, it would point out, like, yeah, like, why are these... People, like, nowadays, fucking, like, the way they wrestle now, like, I thought wrestling's supposed to be safer, right? Isn't wrestling supposed to be safer nowadays, and yet they still get hurt and get injured easily? Like, what how, Like what are you doing? Either it's, like, the type, types of wrestling they're doing, which is, like, useless. Like, no wonder they're getting hurt nowadays easily, for God's sakes. And even by training, for fuck's sakes. So, yeah, we were supposed to get the shit-ass I Quit match. But Bianca Belair and Bailey and good riddance, that's not gonna happen because who the fuck cares? So Sonya Dykeville states that Bianca Belair would defend her title against Carmella next week on SmackDown instead. Liv Morgan interrupts. Liv wants to know how many times she can has to defeat Carmella to get an opportunity. Sonya says Liv can be in a SmackDown women's money in the bank match or something or whatever. Um, so I'm guessing Carmella's not in the, I don't even know and I don't care. But in fact, Carmella's going to be in the match anyways. Like, what the fuck does that mean? Like, I, don't, I don't know. Tony Storm is going to be on SmackDown. Listen, I like Tony Storm. She's hot. She got a big ass. Like, I'll gladly fuck her in a big black cash go, oh shit, oh shit. At least there's a vignette. I mean, God forbid you do a vignette. So that's something. But are you going to even do her right? Are you going to use her right? Come on, what? Are you going to still push She-Hulks? I don't know. It is what it is. At least we get an attractive bitch coming on the show. I guess that's kind of something. But, like, it's going to be all about wrestling. No hot shit going on. I get it. You can't do hot shit with wrestling nowadays. But at least I got to do something with this shit. I don't fucking know. Or not just that. What was going to say? Um. But, I, like, sh- like, wouldn't it have been nice if he actually built her up better? I don't know, gave her the women's title back in NXT and shit like that? Maybe give a reason to, for people to watch? Why are you giving fucking the titles to She-Hulks and too many agents, for God's sakes? I wouldn't be surprised if the same shit happens on the main roster. He's gonna be losing to fucking shits or whatever the fuck. Or in t- Tamina. Ugh, watch when that happens. Seth Rollins defeats Cesaro for the last spot in the Money in Bank match. Um... I didn't give a fuck about the match. I watched during this match and it was like, I was so bored. It was your typical boring ass match. All their matches are fucking boring. There's literally no real story about this match. But you know what? I'm actually kind of glad that Rollins won. I, 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 as much as I hate Rollins now, the guy did gay porn and shit like that. The guy is like so fucking boring, whatever the fuck. 
I'm kind of glad he won, though, because fuck Cesaro, and fuck these fucking fans that want Cesaro to be, like, world champ or fuck. I will say this, like, it was kind of cool seeing blood, but it's, like, it was unintentional. You can tell it's unintentional, but it's, like, whatever. It kind of does help add to the match, sure. But it's, like, this match was long and boring, you know what I mean? Um... Yeah, it was your typical modern wrestling match where it was like false finish, shit like that. Cesaro was bleeding. That's something. Yeah, a little color. But it's like, who cares? You know what I mean? Um, yeah, Rollins won. So it's honestly, out of everybody, I kind of do hope Rollins win Money in the Bank. Even though I, or I think he will. The reason why I say he kind of hope, because hope, like, if you guys haven't heard, apparently John Cena won't be at SummerSlam now. Which is like... I'm honestly not surprised because then it's, it's not it's only rumored, you know what I mean, that he might be there, and that's that same thing with Lesnar, you know, especially because like fucking I don't know they might bring back Lesnar, but just I'm just telling you don't expect much with SummerSlam because for God's sakes like SummerSlam like literally like if anything Brock Lesnar's probably retired sure they add him back to the Raw shit but it's like really it, will he come back you know what I mean, and I'm worried like yeah they might have some stupid guy wrestle. Bobby Lashley, unless they bring back Goldberg, I wouldn't mind seeing that match. Or hell, fucking either match him, bring him, get him, bring him back. For God's sake, I don't mind that shit. But fuck, honestly, what they could do to make this sense with Rollins winning Money in the Bank, they can obviously have him being involved in the Edge Strange match. I would f be happy if fucking literally just if Rollins loses Money in the Bank during the fucking match. If like Edge just wins and work, that would be fucking hilarious. And then they could intertwine the whole Rollins Edge match along with Reigns, and they could do like a triple threat or something. I think that's what they could do, and eventually they do a one on one, whatever. I think that'd be hilarious, like really. I I mean, originally I wanted Edge to be in Money in Bank, but it's like you know it is what it is. I guess obviously they wanted to do a big match, so it is what it is. Oh, that's just like a little bit of my sort of fantasy booking or thoughts, like what should probably happen, you know? Oh yeah, look at this. They're actually building up to Edge. I I didn't see this. Seth Rollins says he will be the one challenging Reigns for the Universal title, but he will win Money in Bank and cash in whenever he wants. Edge interrupts and tells Seth that he hasn't changed since 2014 and remember what he did, which is good. So they're actually kind of, you know, that's long-term storytelling, guys. That's long-term storytelling. So this is actually good. They're building up to it. Maybe fucking Rollins will fucking win my in bank or something. But unless they could do, oh, he lost, he's good cost edge. Like, no. Who else is better to win money in bank? I, I, I just like McIntyre. But McIntyre, like, they're going to probably do this shit with him and Mahal. Oh, I want Big E to win. Fuck Big E. Fuck him. You really want that cornball motherfucker to win? Seriously? Like, literally, out of any guy. Like, come on here. Like, as much as I hate Rollins. He's probably the better guy, because especially for, like, in terms of story-wise. It's better for him to win, really. But whatever. So, the main event, oh, yeah, fucking, before that, like, ooh, the Usos, like, Yo, where you at, Edge? Where you at, Us? Like, like, what are you doing? Like, shut, shut up. They couldn't find Edge. They fucking, eventually, eventually, Roman fucking asks the Usos to stay backstage. He comes out. Oh yeah, Edge was cutting a promo, says, where you at, Roman? And shit like that. I'm surprised Edge hasn't done, like, the cutting edge or something. Like, wouldn't it make sense he invites, like... Like, really, he's the radar superstar. Why not do the cutting edge? Like, why not call out Reigns, like, be part of the cutting edge or something? Wouldn't that be something? You know, maybe... Wouldn't that be more Edge-like? I, I do remember... I do see, like, yeah, he is, like, the fucking psycho Edge, which I don't mind. I honestly don't mind what he... It, it, this sort of new... Kind of dimensional character or something, whatever. It, I, I don't know, weird vocabulary I would use. But I don't mind what Edge is now. He's not like just the cowardly radar superstar. He's kind of like the radar superstar psycho shit, whatever. Which I don't mind. It's kind of cool for a baby face, so I don't mind it. It's not like, oh, spear, spear, spear. Even though I dig that back then, it's like, Really, that's kind of kiddish if you think about it. Like, spear, spear. Like, when I remember, when I remember he said, like, his original face one, it was like, spear, spear, spear. Like, what the fuck? But, yeah, this is better. Um, he's calling out Reigns who wants to fucking confront one one like, if you're a man and blah, blah, blah. They have a face-to-face. -face. Then the Usos came out, even though Reigns didn't want him, them to be out. But then fucking they brawled a little bit. It was cool. The Usos were about to get involved. And honestly, you gotta know, like, who is, like, Edge gotta help some help, right? Then the Mysterious came out, which was pretty cool. 
it's cool, you know? There's there's a reason why they're getting involved. Not some random motherfuckers. They're getting involved, they're helping fucking Edge. You know, you got some backstory with Edge and Rey Mysterio. They got some good alliance with each other. And they helped Edge. And then what was cool, yeah, at, at fucking Edge and Rome were brawling a little bit. They all were brawling, you know what I mean? Which kind of gives me, a, like, why not do, like, a, a sort of six-man tag for next week? Wouldn't that be something for the fans you're returning? Do, like, a six-man tag match? That would be fucking cool. For once, I'm excited for a six-man tag. If they were to do it, but they probably won't. But for God's sake, so yeah, Edge, Spears, I think, Jay and Jimmy, whatever, fuck. He Then after that, he takes the chair, takes the piece of the chair, does the crossface to each of them. It was pretty fucking badass. Really fucking cool. And that's how they end SmackDown. It, it feels good to watch fucking SmackDown with Edge and Mysterio. It really does. That's how they end the show. So good ending. Good way to end SmackDown. That was a good main event segment. But fuck. This show was so boring, and a lot of stupid shit happened, so... Fuck SmackDown tonight. Really fucking boring show, unfortunately. But, it, again, Edge and... Edge, Roman... I would say even the Usos and the Mysterious have saved the show. Just that segment was pretty fucking cool, but everything else is just shit, okay? Alright, I'm gonna say, people... Um, just keep it real. Really, this is the best feud going on, right? <laughs> like, fucking Edge and Roman, you know what I mean? I'm just keep it real... Get your fucking games. Yeah, but sadly, like, Rollins might ruin it, but whatever. I don't know. As long as, like, maybe lead to more Edge and Roman after Money and Bang, I wouldn't mind that. It's actually a good feud. I'm just kidding, real. Get your games. Drink your cold stuff magnificently. And fuck some bitches while doing Make them bitches go shit oh shit. On a big black couch. Because they love the cola. I'm telling you, that's the way you get some chicks, alright? But fuck. Fuck this show. And I don't know. Fuck Edge haters, too. Alright, just to say, people, till next time. Peace. Yeah, bye. And fuck all these other jobbers for money in the bank or whatever. And goodbye, Jay Leno. Fuck you. Go, go enjoy your garage and stay there. Till next time. Peace. Yeah, bye.